To get started, I just added a video and an audio clip to my timeline that I'd like to add a screen pump effect to. Now let's begin by moving the playhead to where you want your screen pump to start. I'm going to put mine right before where the drum beat comes in. Then make sure your video clip is selected on the timeline and go over to the inspector. Under transform, click the keyframe button next to zoom to create a starting keyframe. And I'm just going to click the keyframe toggle on my video clip so that we can see our keyframes as we add them. Then press the right arrow key on your keyboard three times to move the playhead forward three frames. Increase the zoom to 1.2 to create a second keyframe. Then press the right arrow key three more times to move the playhead forward another three frames. Change the zoom back to 1.0 to create a third keyframe. Okay, and now when I play this back, I have a nice looking screen pump. To speed up your screen pump, just drag your first and third keyframes closer to your middle one. But let's say you want to do a double screen pump like in the song where there are two beats together. To do the double pump, I'm going to drag to select all three keyframes and then while holding down the alt key on my keyboard, drag them over the second part of my next drum beat to make a copy. You can also just start by creating a single pump over the second part of the beat, I just already have a single pump so I'm using it. Okay, now we have our single screen pump over the second part of this beat but we need one more pump at the start for the double pump. To do that, let's drag to select only the first two keyframes. Then while holding down the alt key, drag them to the left to make a copy of them. Try to position them so that they're only about three frames away from your other keyframes. Okay, and now when I play this back, I have a double screen pump. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.